Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm making this video to talk about a knee injury that I had and um, kind of document what I'm going through. Um, so if anyone hurts their knee and is kind of wondering what to do next or um, if they tore their ACL, kind of hopefully this video helps um, to kind of set expectations and kind of give uh, an understanding of what they might have to go through uh, to recover from the ACL injury. So uh, two weeks ago I was playing soccer and I was trying to score a goal and the ball was coming at me towards my head and I wanted to head it into goal so I planted and I went like that and my knee gave out. Um, so I heard a loud crack once it happened. Um, and initially I thought that some of the scar tissue from my first ACL injury just kind of gave way. And then I was like, ah, it could be ACL. Um, so I, I limped off the field and I went, um, when I got off the field, I just straightened out my leg as much as possible because that's the, the hardest part when you tear or you do anything with your knee um, is if you can't get it to go straight, then your gait walking is impacted a lot and it's just not, a, not comfortable. Um, I tore my ACL two years ago, uh, playing basketball, actually, and I went through the recovery of that, so I kind of know what to expect for this ACL surgery, um, uh, but it will be a little bit different, I'm told, from the doctor, um, so I just want to kind of record what I'm doing to prepare for surgery and what I'm doing in the meantime. Um, I'll also kind of talk about uh, some of the emotions that I went through when I found out that I tore my ACL and kind of what I, um, you know, what I did before that. So timeline of events. I tore my, I, I hurt my knee. That's all I knew at the time. I hurt my knee playing soccer. My mom and dad um, drove me to the ER because I did not, I didn't trust myself driving uh, with the knee at that time. So they took me to the ER. Um, I knew it was a soft tissue injury. And when you go to the ER, they can't do anything for a soft tissue injury. Um, they're kind of more of like, if you break something, then we'll cast it or something like that. Um, so when I went there, um, they tested the stability of my knee. So they kind of take your knee and try to, try to move it like that. Um, and then once they did some of those tests, they put, um, this got me into the x-ray, um, so after they tested my knee, they moved me into the x-rays to, to see if anything might have been broken. Um, it wasn't. So we kind of knew that it was definitely soft tissue injury if there was anything. Um, and at that point, I was, I was really hoping that I did something to my meniscus. Because uh, that is a much easier surgery to go through than a ACL injury. Um, so the next day I was able to get in to see my specialist for my knee. Um, this was the same specialist that, uh, that fixed my first ACL tear. Um, so she uh, tested out my knee and my, my knee at the time was really swollen. Um, so, and fair warning that this is gonna be a little gross for, for it was at least for me. Um, so if you don't wanna hear it, skip ahead a little bit. 
um, I'll wave once I'm done talking gross. Um, so they drained the fluid from my knee um, and they filled up two vials of the fluid, which is disgusting. Um, and it was all bloody. And that gave them a strong indication that I did tear my ACL. Um, they also injected uh, like some steroids to help with the swelling. So, here I'll, okay, we're good. Done talking gross. Um, so that made me feel a lot better uh, as far as my knee pain, everything like that. And then over the next couple of days, I was walking normal. I was doing everything normal, um, except I had a couple different incident, incidents of knee insecurity. So kind of what that feels like is if you're if you're walking and you're fine and then your knee just kind of like locks or you kind of feel like your knee's shifting a little bit it shouldn't be doing that right so um i kind of knew that i had an acl surge uh, an acl tear i got i had to get an mri to confirm that so went into mri that saturday um, and then you had to wait a couple more days, but for the MRI, if no one, if you guys ha haven't been in an MRI or you're scared about the MRI, it's nothing to be scared about. Um, you basically just lay there listening to music, um, for like 20 minutes and the machine, it's twirling around and making all sorts of noises. Um, but they give you these headphones that you put on and you either listen to the music, you fall asleep, or you do something to entertain yourself for 20 minutes. Um, so that was that was the easy part. And then I had a follow-up appointment with um, my PA and my doctor to kind of talk about what they found in the uh, MRI and kind of next steps. So um, I had built my so I, I was I was trying to be realistic and I was just getting really sad that I have to go through an ACL surgery and recovery again um, and I uh, started looking for things that it was like oh no it's not an ACL um, and I was almost in denial that it was a tear and I was in the I was in the room and the nurse um, like first thing she first thing she said she was she was reading stuff off the chart and she was like oh yeah like you have a complete ACL tear like you know thinking that I already knew that but I didn't so it was kind of it was a shock to my system for sure um, and then when my my PA came in to to talk to me she <laughs> she didn't know that I knew already um, and then it just it was funny but I did tear my ACL um completely and it sucked and you kind of have to emotionally go through it um it helped with having my family uh there to support me and being able to talk through it with them um that sucked uh really bad um but i just I wanted to get on the road to recovery as quick as possible um, and me feeling down about it wasn't going to help um, me or my family or anything so um, I kind I wanted to do surgery to, to repair my leg so I got the surgery scheduled um, next month in January uh, so I'll make some updates from there and let you know what um, I'm doing in the meantime. So kind of what I'm doing in the meantime is uh, working out and, um, you know, doing what I can as far as um, like upper body training, um, not putting any strain or stress on my knees. Um, to reduce any risk of re-injury or anything like that. Um, 
so yeah. All right, so this is a look at my knee that I injured. Um, you can see that the swelling um, almost at this point is non-existent compared to my other knee. Um, so here's a straight overhead shot. You can see that this is still a little swollen here, but for the most part it's fine. Um, the kind of big worry is um, muscles. So after surgery, your muscles go into atrophy, uh, especially your, your quad and your hamstrings. Um, so that's going to be really fun to build up, right? Um, so in the meantime, kind of what you do, and this is a really bad angle, I'm sorry, but um, you just kind of tighten up your muscles and flex your quad set here, and then you relax and flex and relax and flex. And you could hold it, and this just kind of strengthens up these quad muscles up here. Um, you want to do the same with your other leg just to try to get it somewhat even. Um, the second exercise is calf pumps. So just with your foot, you're just pumping, um, working out that muscle there. And then the third one, the kind of work with your hamstring, is just a kind of leg raise like this. This is funny to look at. Um, so those are the, the three exercises that uh, you can do uh, before surgery and then the first couple weeks after surgery until you're on your PT. Um, but as far as pain right now, um, I don't have any. Um, you can see the scars of my previous uh, ACL surgery. Um, so that will be some new scars afterwards, but yeah.